Hello and welcome to Star Stable with Stacy. Every time I sign on, I think, is today the day? Are we going to unlock Golden Hills Valley today? Are we going to hit level 15 today? I think it's very possible. <laughs> we are here in Moreland, still with my lovely orange vest on. I can't get enough. I love this vest. I don't even know why. Maybe just because it looks so good with the, uh, the Western gear and Frost Torch. We look ready for some work. Um, Conrad has finished the barrels for Marley's Barrel Race. So, hopefully we'll get to do the barrel race today. <laughs> it will be a riot, I'm sure. So, let's go check in with him. Good day to you, Conrad. I didn't realize making barrels could be such a tough job. I never would have believed it. But here they are, Nova. The best barrels Jorvik has ever seen. Bring them to Marley and use them with pride. With pride. He takes such pride in his all his work. His horseshoes, the barrels. Thanks, Conrad. We have your barrels, Marley. We're super stoked to try your race. Where have you been? How could it have taken so long to repair a couple of barrels? Well, Marley, we don't need your attitude. Oh, the blacksmith has worked day and night to make me new barrels that should last hundreds of years? Uh-oh, I wonder what the bill is going to be. I only wanted him to switch out a few boards. <laughs> <laughs> While you were gone, I read the rule book on exactly how barrel racing should be done. Behind the house, I have marked off the field exactly where the barrels should be. So, you only need to ride over and put them down in the right place. Then we just need to test it out. Yay! Let's do this. Alright, we got three barrels. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, we need to be dismounted. Okay. One barrel. Three, three barrels. Uh, uh, uh. All three barrels placed and ready to go, Marley. Yeehaw! Well done, Nova. Are you ready for a little barrel racing? <laughs> my brother, the. Oh no! Okay, we need to inspect the course. Can you ride over to my brother Carney and ask him to come over and inspect the course? I know, I know. It is awful not to even try it once before it is inspected. But if it isn't inspected, I can't open it up for anyone. I appreciate that you're a stickler for the rules, Marley, but oh, Carney will take forever and he'll be angry about it. Hey, Carney, are you feeling like inspecting today? I see. My brother wants me to come and inspect his crazy new race. I have a lot to do today that can't wait, but maybe tomorrow. We'll see. <sighs> Did he do it? He must have done it. He must have done it. Let's see. No, it's not ready yet. Oh, Carney. You killing me! However, Barney has a quest for us. Let's go check it out. Hey Barney, what's going on? Hello Nova, it's time to sow some seeds and plant some potatoes. Oh, not the potatoes again. Would you mind helping me out? You see, my back hurts, so some help from a healthy young girl would be a lifesaver. Okay. How nice! Well, the thing is that me and my relatives are going to have a large potluck supper at my place in a couple of days. What's better than to use your own crop? Lucky for me, the vegetables normally grow very fast on my field, so I think we'll get a good harvest if we start now. When it's time to plant for the year, I always talk to Felix. He knows a lot about nature and has a special interest in seeds. His seeds are always of a good quality. Can you ride over there and pick some up for me? Pick up some kind of each seed and we'll see what will grow the best. Good day to you, Felix. We're here looking for some seeds. Hi, Nova. Oh, indeed, Barney is going to have his annual family party. Hard to believe a whole year has gone by already. I have put together some bags of different seeds, but haven't written on the labels what they are. Barney likes surprises. Take these to him and say hello from me. Will do, Felix. Thanks. Keep an eye on those ducks. Here are your surprise seeds, Barney. Thank you, Nova. I can't wait to see what these grow up to be. We need to dig some holes in the ground to sow the seeds. Here, take my spade and go out on the field. Make sure to get off your horse to dig. Watch out for the combine harvester. It's dangerous and not to be trifled with. Don't worry, I think it will honk at us if we get too close. Let's test out this hole digging. Ooh, oh wow, we did a lot. Okay, excellent work. Holes are dug, Barney. Are we gonna plant the seeds next? Nice work, Nova. Very well done. Keep this up and you will learn how to be a really good farmer. Now it's time to plant the seeds. Here's a big bag of seeds to spread out over the field. It's not that important where you plant them. 
some here and there will be good enough. <laughs> Can we plant seeds from horseback? Let's find out. Negative. <laughs> Thought we could just run by and sprinkle them out. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think your seeds are good, Barney. Good to go. Good work. Maybe we should water this. Oh, I forgot water. <laughs> yes, we should totally water the seeds. That will help them to start growing. Here's my old watering can. It should be enough for the new seeds. It's so nice that you're helping me with this, Nova. Now I have some time to write some invitations for my family party. I hope it goes well. Are we invited? We helped. <laughs> All right, let's get these seeds watered. Ooh, maybe he should use some of Agnetha's fertilizer. Look how close we are to 15. Hey, Barney. Thanks a million. Now we have to wait and see if they will grow. We're so close. All right, guys, it looks like we're staying overnight. It's a new day, so it's time for a new race. A barrel race. Carney finally came to check it out. Now my fantastic barrel race is open. Nova, you have the honor of being the very first rider. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Oh no! <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going over here. Going over here. Do we we turn it right? We go. Oh. oh! <laughs> okay. Just just take it easy. Take it. Take it easy. Maybe not that easy though. Come on. Come on, Frost Torch. Slow down on the curve. Speed up. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Just one lap. <laughs> okay. Hey, not too bad my first go, I think. <laughs> What'd you think, Marley? How'd we do? <laughs> Fantastic, Nova. You've been an amazing help again. Come back and ride on my course anytime you'd like. So long, Nova. <gasps> we did it! We leveled up! We're 15! Yay, thank you, Marley. I knew you were the best. <laughs> We're back to check in on Barney's crops. How's it going, Barney? Hello again. I'm a bit worried. Nothing has come up in the soil. I hope I don't have to postpone the party. We need to do something extra to get the plants started. Cow poo! <laughs> yes, you heard right. Hey, didn't I say he should use some uh, fertilizer? We need to spread some manure to get the plants ready in time. Maybe you and Frost Torch can use this spade to collect some manure for me? Ride to Hollow Woods and Valedale, Claire's cow manure would be perfect for this. He even had specific cows in mind. <laughs> sure thing, Barney. Okay, here we are. He didn't give us anything to put the manure in, though. Ooh, where are we storing this? Where? Just in our backpack. <laughs> All right, Barney, here's your cow manure straight from my backpack. Awesome, it smells really bad. Lucky for us that the crops don't have noses. That we know of. Fertilizing a field is not glamorous work, but it has to be done, Nova. Take the bucket with manure and spread it out here and there. The soil will absorb the nutrients fast. No time to lose, take the bucket and start. Yeah, we don't, we don't wanna hold it any longer than we have to. All right, spot number one, spreading fertilizer. Final bucket, can we do it before the combine harvester gets us? No! <laughs> it, it sent us back to our home stable. Ah! Yes, we finished before the harvester got us. Yes. Hey, Barney. Good fertilizing. We can't do any more work today. We'll be back later to check on those crops. Hello, Madam Baroness. Look, we're level 15. Give us something awesome to do. Good day to you, Nova. How lovely to see you again. Thanks for asking, but sadly, I'm a little troubled. My very best competition horse, Butterfly, has had an accident and picked up an injury on his back right leg. It's all healed up now, thank goodness, but now he needs to build up his muscle strength so that the injury doesn't come back. This is why I've sent Butterfly to Marley Summers. Did you know that Marley used to train horses once upon a time? If there's anyone who can help Butterfly, it's him. The thing that's bothering me the most is that poor old Butterfly is never going to be able to compete again. You see, Butterfly really loves to compete, and if he can't race anymore, I'm worried it'll break his heart. 
Can you ride to Marley's farm and see how it's going for Butterfly? You'll do it? Thank you. Oh, of course we will. Poor Butterfly. Have you guys ever had horses have injuries before? I bet it's so frustrating. You can't tell the poor horse that it's okay and you're gonna fix it. Is that Butterfly? Does he have butterflies on him? Oh, it's just spots. I thought they might actually look like butterflies. That's okay. <laughs> hey, Marley. Howdy, Nova. Has the Baroness sent you? Yes. Oh, don't stand on poor Marley. Yeehaw! Can you imagine that little old me got asked to train a champion? Carney, my sourpuss brother, thinks I'll mess it up somehow. As if that's usually what happens. I'll show that little punk. After a week with me, Butterfly is going to be in the better shape than ever. Of course it's true. I've trained loads of horses in my time, back in the day. So Butterfly is no challenge for me. You can tell the Baroness that Butterfly is feeling just fine. Or actually, there is one thing. Ah, uh, never mind. It's nothing worth mentioning. Why don't you go say hello to Butterfly Nova and get an idea for yourself? Hello, Butterfly. <gasps> oh, oh, hello! <laughs> it scared me a little bit, you guys. Whoa, easy butterfly. This is Nova. Nobody to be afraid of. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. You saw what just happened. Do you agree that he seems a little... I'm not sure what word to use. Nervous? Yeah, exactly. Nervous is the right word. I think it's really strange that such a competitive racehorse should be nervous. Maybe it's just all the new people and surroundings. <gasps> Maybe someone injured him on purpose. What do you think? There's another problem, though. A big problem. I can't get him to jump. He just refuses, point blank. But according to Carney, Butterfly is the best jumper in all of Silverglade. Well, do, didn't he get hurt? Doesn't his leg hurt? I have an idea. Can you take a ride around the jump course with Frost Torch? Maybe then Butterfly's competitive instinct will kick in. You will. Yeehaw! Come on, Nova, show us what you can do. <laughs> he better not, not take lessons from me, that's for sure. <laughs> Come on, Frost Torch. Woo! You can do a butterfly just like this, only better. Excellent. All right. Nobody ever died from a tiny jump. Okay. Sure. Yeehaw! Nicely ridden, Nova. Now it's your turn, butterfly. You can do this, big guy. I know you can. <gasps> there he goes. Come on, butterfly. You can do it. Don't get nervous. Oh, he got nervous. Poor thing. Easy, butterfly, easy. There you go. Good boy. Well, Nova, that didn't go so well. I just don't get it. Do you understand? Any idea why he refuses to jump? You think he's scared of something? Hmm, wonder what that could have been. I mean, it's just a regular old paddock. I suppose it won't hurt to look a little further into it. Ride over and take a look and see if there's anything odd by the jump in the paddock. I'll wait here with this poor fellow and keep him calm. He's still a bit shaky. Ooh, we're going to investigate. Let's take a look. Examines. <laughs> Nothing odd there. Last spot? Anything? You don't find anything odd. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. You didn't find anything? Yeah, that's really got me goosed. If there's nothing in the paddock, then what's getting Butterfly to react like he did? What do you reckon? Any ideas? If we should try something else to get him going, what do you mean? The barrel race? Yeah, great idea. Maybe we started a little hard on poor old Butterfly. For safety's sake, will you not do a quick lap first? That way Butterfly's going to see if it's nothing to worry about. Great, Nova. Yeehaw. <laughs> great. We get to do the barrel race twice <laughs> in one day. <laughs> Practice, I guess. Practice. All right, slow down a little. Okay, speed up. Speed up. Slow down a little. Well, okay, not so bad. I think I'm better at this than pole bending. What do you? What about you guys? Barrel racing or pole bending? Hey, Marley. 
Yeehaw, nicely done. What do you reckon then, butterfly? Wanna show Marley what you could do, huh, champ? He should be able to do this, right? Because there's no jumping. Come on, butterfly, you can do it. Just run around the barrel. Oh, he skirted the barrel. Oh no, where is he going? Come back, come back. Oh, this is not good. Like the wind. Oh no, 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 he's bolted. If we don't catch him quickly, he'll be on the other side of Jorvik in no time. How am I gonna catch up to him? I can't run after him. My, my fitness has never been top notch. We'll ride after him, don't worry. Be careful, a spooked horse can be a dangerous horse. Try to calm him down first. That's the only way to capture a frightened horse. Come on, Nova, ride. Oh, okay, we're riding. Ride like the wind, Frost Torch. There he goes. Catch him. What? Oh no, oh no. Cut him off. A little faster, Frost Torch. Ooh, there we go, there we go. Good thing we had practice with this on South Hoof. Hey, buddy. You managed to catch up to Butterfly and get him to stop. He seems totally terrified, so take it nice and easy with him so you don't make things any worse. I'm sorry, you don't have faith in me. Think I'm gonna make it worse. Where's he going? Help Butterfly back to Marley's farm. You calm Butterfly down and he begins to move in the direction of Marley's yard. For safety's sake, it's best if you ride alongside him, as he's still very frightened. Boy, he's going pretty fast for a frightened horse. Come on, buddy. We can do this. Alright. He's back. Whew. That was close. Thanks for riding after Butterfly for me. Oh, we need to get down. Okay. Whew! What a relief! I was really worried that we'd never see Butterfly again. Not at those speeds. What could I have said to the Baroness? Yeah, sorry about your horse. Lost him, didn't I? Ha, <laughs> no thanks. Lucky you were here, Nova. Wonder what made Butterfly bolt like that. You're right, Nova. Something's just not right. I've got an idea. I've got no idea what it could be. Do you have any ideas? You want to examine Butterfly, you say? Well, I suppose that'd be okay. Not that I know why you'd do that or what you're expecting to find. Well, we don't either, but that's why we're just going to take a look. It's okay. We're just going to examine him real quick. Like she said, I thought he hurt his leg. This is weird. Yeah, that I'm standing inside of him, a little weird. Didn't the Baroness say that Butterfly had injured his back right leg in an accident? You feel along Butterfly's back right leg. The muscles feel strong and not at all weakened like the Baroness said. Hmm. Apart from the leg, there's something else a bit strange about Butterfly's temperament. You carefully try to pet his nose so that he feels safe, which seems to work, so you just stand and cozy up to him for a little while. Suddenly, your attention turns to Butterfly's markings. There seems to be something strange about the way they look. You reach out your hand and touch one of them. You're not totally sure, but that seems an awful lot like it could be black paint? Has somebody painted over Butterfly's markings? Who would paint a horse, and why? You need, to, you need to tell Marley right away. That's weird. What on earth? You think the horse beside me isn't the real butterfly? That's impossible. He came straight from the Baroness's yard. Carney organized the transport himself, which is why this couldn't be any other than the real butterfly. I've had my eye on him the entire time. It must be Butterfly. I can't believe it, Nova. I'm sorry, but I just can't accept it. Of course. Carney sent some of Butterfly's papers to me. Where can I have put them? They can help us get to the bottom of this. On the papers is all the information we'll need to confirm whether or not this is Butterfly. Now I just need to think. I was out in the stable when the phone rang in the kitchen. Did I take the papers with me? Nova, can you check over by the stable to see if the papers for Butterfly are there and I'll go check the kitchen? We need to find those papers fast. Agreed. This is strange. Nothing of interest. Oh, papers! We have them, Marley! You found them? 
Were they by the stable? Okay, now let's see what it says here about butterfly. Mm-hmm. Back leg. Yeah, right. Markings. Aha! You were right. There's something not quite right here. According to the papers from Carney, butterfly should have weakened muscles in his back right leg. And this horse certainly doesn't. Something's up with butterfly's black markings as well. Hmm. This both feels and smells like paint. What could this mean? How can this have happened? How can this possibly be the wrong horse when he came straight from the winery? I need to call the Baroness. Or wait, what should I say to her? Oh gosh, help me think, Nova. Who should I talk to? Carney? Of course you're right. Carney maybe knows something. He was the one who arranged the transport, after all. What are we going to do with this horse, though? If it's not Butterfly, then who is it? You're right. One thing at a time. The most important thing is that we talk to my brother and find out what he knows. Can you ride to the winery and talk to him? Thanks. While you do that, I'll see if I, it, I'll see if I can find some clues as to who this horse is or where he comes from. Good idea. Hey, Carney. Something weird is going on. Hi, Nova. I wish you a good day if I thought it was going to be one. Mm, thanks. Well, that's all the adventure we have time for today. Stay tuned next time and we'll continue on our quest. We made it to 15 today. That's so awesome. I feel so accomplished. We've made it to 15. That's so far in the game. We've done so much and I've had you guys there along beside me to do it with. So that's really cool. So thank you guys for watching. Alana told us she has an obsession with dragons, so her horses get dragon names. Her newest one is the Welsh Pony, named Dragon Escape. That sounds really fierce. <laughs> Not something I would want to encounter either, an escaped dragon, <laughs> but that's awesome. Random SSO just came back from a Western riding competition. That sounds really cool. I wish I could see that. She won four categories. Congratulations. That's amazing. I could not even imagine riding a horse and you guys are out there winning competitions. That's impressive and I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. We are that much closer to unlocking Golden Hills Valley. I'm so excited. We've just done so much and I'm so thrilled about it and there's so much more in store and you guys tell me every day how exciting the new areas are Dino Valley, Golden Hills, Epona, and I just can't wait to get there. So thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys are having a blast, enjoying your summer, playing Star Stable, and I'll see you next time. Bye!